Hi, Sam here with CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultants Express Tip on Color Coded Elevations. The Color Coded Elevation command allows you to generate colored bands showing where elevations occur within your surface. If I look at the View Color Coded Elevations dialog box, on the main tab I tell it the surface. I'm going to use the automatic color mode initially and if I look at the color table the initial color is color 1 and I've divided mine into 16 different colors. Perhaps I don't want to use one as the beginning color so I'll switch it, generate, and it updates the table. When I apply I identify the location for a legend and it generates not only the legend but also color coded shapes identifying where the elevations occur in the DTM. But if you'll notice the elevations are all at odd numbers. If I would prefer I can go back give it an initial first elevation let's say 750 and then tell it to step them in 10 foot increments. I'll generate it resets all the elevations. I apply and identify the placement of the legend and the color-coded elevations are updated reflecting the new elevation ranges. What if I want to change one of the colors within the elevation ranges? Well if you'll notice the edit is dithered out. That's because on the main tab I am set to a color mode of automatic. If I'll switch to custom and then go to the color table I can change an individual color if I would like. And then when I generate again, the elevation range from 800 to 810 will be a red color rather than the dark gray. Another option which can be handy is to mark all the elevations above or below a certain number. In order to do that, I'll set the number of colors to 2 set my first elevation to the elevation I want everything colored one color below and one color above. I'll turn off the step and generate. Now everything below 770 will be colored green, everything above 770 will be colored red. I'll apply again data point for the location of the legend and the legend and the color coding is updated to reflect my change. So you can easily spot everything in your DTM that is below a certain elevation. Thanks for watching. Please visit civilcadconsultant.com for more MicroStation and Inroads tips.